Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today's a bit of an impromptu video. I had another video planned for today, but I decided to scrap it, but I still wanted to get a video up for you guys and my Fafit Fun Box for winter came and I thought I would unbox it with you and kind of talk about my feelings, about what I picked out, show you what I picked out and kind of break it all down. I pay for Fafit Fun myself. This video isn't sponsored in any way. I've been getting Fafit Fun. I think this is like my second year year. I pay annually for it and um, yeah so I think this is like the third box for the year that I've paid for. I like paying annually specifically so that I can have the most control over the items that come in your box. If you guys don't know FafitFun is like a quarterly subscription box and you can get like beauty items, there's household stuff, like it's kind of a range of stuff so it's not just beauty or just makeup but you can make your box heavily that and like I said because I pay up front for the year they let you customize every single option that you get and I like having that control so I can make the box the best value hopefully for myself that I can. I like subscription boxes if they're good and I do feel like overall FafitFun can be a good option. Subscription boxes definitely aren't for everyone and you know with inflation everything's going up so I think the price of the box even went up a little bit so I'm not sure how I feel. I'm not sure how I feel about this box like is it worth it? I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Um, I did add some add-ons to this box too too, but we'll just get into it. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna go through the items that I actually picked first. So I had six items that I could choose from. There were a lot of different options. I tend to go pretty beauty heavy when I am on there just because obviously like, you know, it could help with making videos or testing new formulas from different brands, that type of stuff. But I did actually pick up some jewelry or choose a jewelry item. This is from Coach, which is a good, you know, a good brand. And these are some earring stuff. Now, I think that these are really pretty. I am excited to wear them. These are what the earrings look like. So they have like the traditional C's as well as some like diamond, you know, fake diamond <laughs> studs. And I will get some use out of these. I tend to wear studs the most out of all of my earrings and out of all jewelry, I wear earrings the most. So I think these are a good pickup for me. But we've had coach earrings in the past. I have some from a box back in like summer of last year maybe that are like rose gold flowers that also came with a necklace and I don't know why they feel like too similar to me like I want different options but um I still think these are nice you know I'm not I'm not complaining and they say that these retail for $95 and if we go off of that value that alone pays for the box because I think I paid around $200 for the year which breaks down to about $50 per box without add-ons so um you know I would definitely be getting the value here but I don't know why there was still something a little disappointing but we'll see maybe with wear I'll be like no they were the best thing and I wear them all the time one of the things I was actually really excited about is I believe a new product like I don't think I'd seen this before so that's why I was excited it's from Laneige and this is the lip treatment balm this is different than the lip sleeping mask maybe I just didn't realize this had come out but I'm pretty sure this is like new. This is what it looks like. This comes out and it's like a silicone tip lip product. So that's kind of cool. I just go straight in with my hand and contaminate it immediately. It does have a sheen to it. Oh, and a very fruity smell. It's super fruity. Well, that's kind of exciting. I am definitely gonna give this a try. I like Laneige products. One of the things I will say is I like that FabFitFun tends to have, I mean, they also have some brands that you've only ever heard in boxes and I choose to not really get those items, but they do have some like brands you've actually heard of like Laneige, Coach, I get some glow recipe stuff, like those types of brands that I already am attracted to that sell at Sephora and are legit and established are in the boxes and those are the ones I usually go for to get the best value. And they're also just the ones I'm genuinely interested in. So that I was really excited for. This retails for $25. So that's some good value. Maybe I'm gonna like come back. I don't know. It was just a lot of repeat items. I think that was really what was a little like disappointing. One of the repeat items was this Whey Detox Shampoo. In the section that I could pick this from, all the other products I was not interested in. And so even though I've already gotten this through FabFitFun before I've used it, I enjoyed it nonetheless. And I really like Whey products in general. So I went with it, but you know, I've already experienced this and I do think it's fun to like try new things through the box. And so a little bit disappointing, but I knew, I knew it's a good value. <laughs> so I went with it. And plus I go through shampoo more than conditioner. So 
this is the detox shampoo. It did come with the scalp massager and I'm actually gonna give this a try because they do use a lot of dry shampoo and I think this is supposed to help with that. Um, I, I know I was trying one before. I don't know where it went, that's so weird. That one was definitely a little disappointing, but value wise, pretty good, a $40 value. The last three things that were part of my initial box, I chose this Hourglass lipstick. This is also a pricey product. I'm not sure if the shade is Confession or what, but it's one of those ultra slim lipsticks. It's very heavy and weighted, and I think you just replace the top of this it says if only, maybe that's the shade name, I'm not really sure, but it is a pretty color. I already put it on and I think it's nice for fall actually. Definitely wouldn't have bought this on its own, but I'm gonna give it a go since it was in the box and it's kind of nice how slim this is because I usually use a lip liner but I just went straight in and it has a lot of precision for it being a more traditional bullet lipstick, just not in the traditional bullet lipstick shape, sort of. <laughs> so I got that, this retails for $39. I feel like when I keep adding up the price I'm like, that's a good price, Lauren. Why are you complaining? For another one of my selections, the best option I had was the L'Occitane hand cream. This is a really good hand cream. I've used one of these up actually before. So I know I'll get some use out of this and with the drier months coming, like I probably should literally put it on right now. And this is a $25 product uh, and it's big, you know, full size. I know Sam will like use this a ton too because he's so dry. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, you know, it's a nice little hand cream. And then the last thing, though this is the quick slick from insert name here I actually really love this I found this through FabFitFun a while ago so this is like a repeat item for me this is really great at getting your stray hairs I use it for all those pesky flyaways let me open it up maybe I tried this through BoxyCharm actually I might not have been through FabFitFun so it looks like a mascara but then you can like easily tackle your flyaways or baby hairs or whatever and I find it has like decent holes and just kind of cleans up a look. I did decide to go with a few add-ons as well. So I have two clips here. I don't think these are gonna work for me, unfortunately, because they're so heavy, but I love doing my hair in like a clip lately. I literally don't today, of course, naturally, but I have one black clip, that's it. All my other ones have broken so far or gotten lost. I've literally stepped on one, hurt my foot, broke it to smithereens. So I was excited to get a few more clips just to have some different options and also like different sturdiness and maybe cuteness. This one's from Kitsch and it's really cute. It's a gold color and it's metal, which is really like, feels high quality, which is great. It's not gonna get broken if I step on it. I'm gonna get broken if I step on it, but it's so heavy. I don't know if it's gonna work in my hair. That's like my worry. I'll have to report back to you. If you have thick hair, it might be perfect, but I got four little thin hairs and I don't know if they're gonna, you know, if they're, they've been strength training enough for that one. And then this one is kind of similar it is gold and it has like the mother of pearl again really nice but metal and I it's not as heavy so that's good but it's also very long this one's a lot shorter and I liked that because again I don't have a ton of hair and this is gonna probably like make it look like I have two hairs so we'll see hopefully those will work maybe I'm wrong but I'm nervous that they won't <laughs> This was on a really great deal. I think it was over half off what the original price is from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tightening Facial. It's a mask from them and I wanna do a video all about Glow Recipe and my favorite products and I've only used this mask once in a sample and I don't know if it was like when I was really into masks so I don't really remember it leaving an impression and you guys know I love Glow Recipe so I thought I would give this an actual try. And last, I love when they have different perfumes options obviously whether it's in the sales or obviously in the box itself I will probably almost always pick that option but they had a Comptour Sud Pacifique travel spray and this one's the Coco Extreme which they do a lot of vanilla scents um, they're very very sweet scents I have a few different ones I have Coco Fig and I also have a Vanille Banan and so I thought I would get this little travel spray of the Coco Extreme this is a very sweet milky coconut vanilla scent there's also also some almond in here. It almost reminds me of something sunscreeny, but I think that's just like the beachy quality to it. And I wanna definitely put some sandalwood and maybe some like woodiness with no sweetness onto this and see how those play. Cause this is 
very sweet. It goes so, so sweet. But this is a brand I'm kind of like always interested in smelling what they have. So I thought this was a pretty good value. And that's my FabFitFun box. I think this video is gonna be pretty short. I feel like I did get my money's worth, but I still was disappointed pointed in the products that are there. Like there's no doubt that these things actually retail for that much. And even if in some way I could get all of them at half the retail value, they still, I feel like are a good value for the box. Like I still think that's pretty good. But again, I still have something a little bit like, hmm, I don't know 100% if I'm gonna sign up next year. So I'm on the fence. Who knows, hopefully next season, I think my last box will be good. We'll see. Let me know if you like these unboxings and you wanna see them. Uh, I'm not really sure how many of you get FabFitFun or enjoy FabFitFun, but um, I thought I would share with you what I got and just some of my thoughts on the winter box. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad Glad to at least get some video up for you guys tonight but yeah other than that I will see you guys in my next video hopefully tomorrow with a video okay bye guys